Okay, now that we have done the integration, now let's see how this works from Moodle. So I'm logging as a teacher here. I'm going to my course 101. If I turn editing on, I'll be able to see that now I have a LAMS lesson activity. Once that I select this activity, I'll be able to see my sequences that I have in LAMS and a whole bunch of, a, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of other options that I have in Moodle, as well as some lesson name that I can actually give to this Moodle. As well, I can actually author new LAMS sequences by clicking this button. This button will provide me access to the LAMS authoring environment where I can actually design new sequences. So in this case, and for the sake of a very small example, we're going to put a notice board activity followed by a forum activity. So we connect them together and we save. Once that I save, authoring environment will tell me to go back to will ask, ask me whether I want to go back to Moodle. So I click yes, leave this page. Now you can see that I now have this form one sequence that I created as part of the sequences that I have in my personal folder as a teacher. So if I select the sequence, I can create a lesson directly here from Moodle. The other options that I have is I can actually show the students a picture of the design and we'll see how it looks. We'll leave the other options as it is for the moment and we'll work on them later. Now save and display and now you'll be able to see that I have forum one and two sequences and the design of the two uh, activities within the sequence. Note that because I'm a teacher here, I can see this monitor, monitor lesson, which would bring me, bring me to the LAMS monitor environment. But let's have a look at how the students would see this. I have here another browser, and I will log in into it as a student. Once that I'm logging as a student, I can go to the course one and I'll be able to see that now there's a form one lesson LAMS activity. Once that I come here, I see design and now you will, you will be able to see that I only have the open lesson button, but not the monitor, since I'm just a single student on this particular course, Moodle course. So if I click on open learner, this will bring me to the LAMS learning environment where I will be able to see the activities and do the activities as such. Note that once that I finish these activities, or this LAMS lesson, I'll be able to return to Moodle and you'll see that now I, it reports my completion status. So this, this particular activity now is marked as complete within Moodle. Now going back to my teacher browser, I'll be able to create new lessons and see new features that LAMS has in this new integration. When I click on LAMS lesson, I can now see that LAMS activities can put grades back into the Moodle gradebook. So for that, what all I need to do is basically select the grade that I want this particular lesson to have, and then select the lesson that provides an output from, from LAMS. So for this particular example, I have prepared a very small um, sequence that has two assessment modules. So let's have a look at it first. So the super, superhero assessment, it's a very simple sequence that basically asks students about the different capitals of the world in different parts of the world, in this case the Americas and Europe. So if I have a look, quick look at this particular activity, I can see that there's different questions and each of these questions add up to eight marks and the total for this particular activity adds to 50 marks. Then the Europe, in the Europe case, we have just about five questions, all of them added, uh, all of them back to 10 marks, and all in all adds to 50 marks. So the total for this whole sequence, or this whole sequence, would be 100 marks. So let's select this sequence, put title description. Americas in Europe and create this lesson. I will save and display. I'll be able to now see that my sequence has created. In this case, 
purposely I didn't click on to display the design. If you want to display the design, you can always edit it. Come back to it, click on the design image, and then save and display again. And now we have the design displayed. Now, if I go to back to my student browser, go back to the course, now I'll be able to see that there's a, zero, a superhero assessment. I click, click and open, and now I'll be able to see this new assessment. And just for the sake of testing, I will actually go through this assessment and do an economy. So first we're going to start with Americas. So I'm just going to answer these questions randomly. Hopefully I'll get one or two right. At least two, right, I guess. Now, following to the next activity, Europe. Next, one to right, now I'll go to the next activity. Now, as you see, once that I finish this activity, once that I get back to LAMS, I'll be able to see that I've got 35.6 out of 100 points I was set in the So now this information is being set up in um, Moodle. So if I go back to my Teachers, my teacher's uh, browser, if I go into monitor, I'll be able to monitor what this student that I've just gone, went through this lesson has done. If I go back to my course, and I go to grades, now you can see what student has done and what the mark that was passed to. Moodle, and this is the Moodle gradebook. Now, one more thing that is worth mentioning is that LAMS lessons can be used with all the features that are in Moodle. So, in this case, for instance, we can use grades, we can use groupings, we can restrict access, and the latest one is the activity completion. And here we can actually specify what particular uh, events have to occur in order for this um, for this activity to be marked as completed. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll create a form one activity again. Let's just call it 22. But in this case, we're going to we're going to require that it is the full lesson is finished in order for it to be marked as completed. So let's click and save and display. Now let's go back to our other browser, this is our student browser, so if we go back to Apple 1, now I have 422, and one of the things before I get there is this option here, it says basically not completed, and that is because I purposely said that this activity would actually have to show as completed. Forum 22, open this forum, do this activity, complete the lesson and now once that I get back to Moodle I can actually see that now this is complete and if I go back into LAMS I can now see that this status automatically has gotten completed so because LAMS makes use of these features you can actually do uh, completion, uh, completion release which is one of the new features in Moodle 2 um, using also LAMS activities so if there's any questions, I'll suggest you post them into the LAMS community or if you got any comments, the LAMS community. There's a particular forum that we're running for Moodle 2. So go to the tech forums and you'll get all the answers there. Thanks very, thanks very much for watching.